Did you know that folic acid, folate, and B12 are often confused with each other? These three vitamins, while related, have distinct roles and sources that are crucial for our health. Stay tuned to find out which one is better for you. We'll break down their differences, benefits, and how you can ensure you're getting enough of each. All right, let's dive right in. Understanding these vitamins can help you make informed decisions about your diet and supplements. Folic acid, folate, and B12 are essential vitamins that play crucial roles in your body. They are indispensable for maintaining overall health and well-being. They're pivotal for everything from brain function and energy production to DNA synthesis and repair. Without them, our bodies would struggle to perform these vital processes efficiently. Now here's the crux of the matter. Understanding the differences between these vitamins can help you avoid potential health risks and ensure you're getting the right nutrients. Many people mix up folic acid, folate, and B12, leading to confusion and potential health risks. This confusion can result in either deficiencies or excessive intake, both of which can have serious health implications. Folic acid is the synthetic version often found in supplements and fortified foods. It's commonly added to products like cereals and bread to help prevent deficiencies in the general population. Folate, on the other hand, is the natural form found in leafy greens, legumes, and some fruits. Foods like spinach, broccoli, and lentils are excellent sources of folate. And then we have B12, crucial for nerve function and red blood cell formation, which is primarily found in animal-based foods or fortified products. Meat, fish, dairy, and eggs are rich in B12. When it comes to daily intake, the recommended amount for folate is around 400 micrograms for most adults. This amount can help support normal cell division and prevent certain birth defects during pregnancy. Folic acid's recommendation is similar, but because it's synthetic, it's better absorbed by the body. This makes it a reliable source of the vitamin, especially in supplement form. For B12, the daily recommendation is 2.4 micrograms, but this can vary depending on age and dietary choices. For instance, older adults and those on a vegan diet may need to pay extra attention to their B12 intake. Folic acid is more stable and better absorbed, but high doses can mask a B12 deficiency. This is particularly concerning because a B12 deficiency can lead to serious neurological issues if left untreated. Folate, being natural, is less likely to cause issues, but can be less consistent in absorption. This means that even if you consume folate-rich foods, you might not always absorb enough of the vitamin. B12, meanwhile, is essential for preventing anemia and neurological issues, especially in vegans and older adults who might be at higher risk of deficiency. Ensuring adequate B12 intake is crucial for maintaining healthy nerve cells and producing DNA. All three vitamins are important, but they serve different functions. Folic acid and folate are vital for cell growth and metabolism, while B12 is key for nerve health and blood formation. If you're getting enough folate from a balanced diet rich in leafy greens and fruits, you might not need folic acid supplements. However, during pregnancy or certain health conditions, supplements might be necessary. However, B12 is vital, especially if you're vegan or vegetarian. Since plant-based diets typically lack B12, fortified foods or supplements are often required to meet daily needs. To wrap it up, remember, folic acid, folate, and B12 each have unique roles and benefits. Understanding these can help you tailor your diet and supplements to your specific needs. Make sure you're getting the right amounts for optimal health. A balanced diet, possibly supplemented with vitamins, can help you maintain energy, brain function, and overall well-being. Now I want to hear from you. Your experiences and questions can help others understand these important nutrients better. What are your thoughts on folic acid, folate, and B12? Drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more health and nutrition tips. Thanks for watching.